and welcome to Platform 1 of Paddington Station in London. This video will be split into two halves. Um, the first half will be the GWR Pullman Dining and the second half will be the review of the Riviera Sleeper from Penzance back to London Paddington. and have a look at the lounge here at Paddington, which is available to any first class ticket holders and sleeper passengers. This lounge is split into two different areas. The first is modern and contemporary with laptop areas and showers. The food offerings here are good, if a little basic but at least it's somewhere nice to spend the waiting time. take a look at the second part of the lounge, which is a former waiting room for Queen Victoria. This area is far more calming and quiet. It's much less used than the other area, and it is far more cosy. It also has a far more historic feel than the rest of the lounge. Let's make our way to platform 9 for our on-time departure. Now the carriage here on the right is the Pullman dining car. Unfortunately, I didn't realize this and went onto my assigned seat all the way at the other end of the train. So be aware that if you do want to dine on the train, that you are in the correct set of carriages. 
as you can see, there's no link between the two halves. So in order to book a seat in the Pullman area, you need to book a first class seat and then request a reservation. Now you can book a normal seat and then ask the conductor if there's room, but personally I wouldn't take the risk. As you get there, the staff will show you to your seat. Be prepared to share the table with some strangers as it is a communal dining experience. Although quick friends are usually made once the wine starts flowing. Mine was a 2020 Sauvignon Blanc from Chile, which I felt was a great choice. I started with the chicken satay with samphire. Main was the roast chicken and potatoes with a kale cabbage mix and a blackberry jus. All finished off with an orange marmalade bread and butter pudding, I would presume in honour of Paddington Bear. dining service only runs between Paddington and Plymouth only a few times a week. If it is something that you would like to do, consult the GWR website for the train times and dates. It may be quite pricey once you include the price of your tickets, but it really is a unique experience and it's some of the best service I've ever had. Tamar and the village of Saltash. The bridge is the Royal Albert Bridge, built in 1859 by Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Here we are pulling into the harbour town of Penzance, where we will be catching the Riviera Sleeper all the way back to London Paddington. So let's board the Sleeper and see what our rooms are like. So here's my room for the night, 1615. The 
these are twin rooms but can be bought for single occupancy. I think they've done a good job with the power in the room as well as having USB ports on all the sockets. get the cheeky one hidden under the bed. The sink is very nicely designed and makes good use of the space. It also worked well with decent pressure. designed to only fit a couple of items. Anything else will have to be left in your luggage under your bed. The final area worth looking at is the late night bar area. This is a really lovely area with nicely designed tables and couches to have a nightcap before settling in for the night. to sit on these for very long. So if you got this far in the video, thanks very much for waiting all the way to the end. I really enjoyed both sections of my trip and I would thoroughly recommend doing them as it's a little break from the norm.